Zip Tie Domes presents the 2 v Tunnel Dome Prototype. We are constantly thinking of new ways to come up with a, a new dome design. One of our newest designs is the 2 frequency uh, Tunnel Dome. This design is based on the standard 2 frequency icosahedron but stretched to uh, be at least three times as long. The technique we used was to replace the top hub, which is usually a five-way hub for an icosahedron, and replace that with a six-way hub, and then use that to make a longitudinal strut that goes down the length of the dome. In this example, the dome has been stretched from a normal 10-foot wide by 5-foot tall dome to become um, a dome that is 20 feet long, 10 foot wide, and about 5 and a half feet tall. The blue struts were 3 feet 4 inches. The red struts, which are connected to the 5-way connectors, are 2 feet 11 and 5 eighths inches. There is one additional strut we had to come up with. We were calling it a black strut. It's about 25 inches for this uh, schematic to work. So we, we had to add two uh, non-standard struts, but the rest are just regular blue and red struts like we have in every package. The next model is based on a two-frequency dome that is standardly standard uh, 16 feet wide and 8 feet tall. We have stretched this to be over 30 feet long by adding uh, more joints in the center. Uh, one of the things that we noticed with this was that we had to we had a lot of pressure on that center part of the dome. So what we did is we took the PVC pipe that made the longitudinal axes axis and used one single length of 20 foot PVC pipe. We ran that through the six way connector hubs and out the other side for each one of those and then connected the pipes on the top and the bottom uh, to, to that longitudinal axis pipe that we're using for stability. The main reason we're experimenting with this shape is because we believe it will lend itself to the time when we start manufacturing concrete domes using the exact same technique except with rebar uh, and covered with chicken wire. Look for these domes to be available sometime in 2014. Thank you.